got to do together an overview effect meditation. And this is something that I've led, um, which is basically to give us that, that experience that we're always reading about or talking about or, or watching movies about or enjoying and to give you a little taste of it yourself. So um, thank you for participating. We're gonna do, you're gonna get to do your own uh, personal space mission today and have your own miniature overview effect right in the comfort of your own chair. So um, go ahead and put your hands in your lap, um, sit up tall, like, like you're an antenna trying to pick up faint signals from a distant galaxy. And like the straighter your back, like the fainter the signal you can pick up. You can go ahead and close your eyes and just sort of drop into your uh, really, really present, state and imagine that it's the morning of your very first space flight. You jump out of bed and you make your way over to the spacesuit room. There's people there for helping you zip up your suit. They hand you your gloves. You go walk out to the vehicle to drive you to the pad. And as you get out, you look up, you see this magnificent rocket in front of you. And you're bursting with joy. You're so excited. You waited a lifetime for this opportunity. And as you make your way up to the crew capsule, there are people there to help you into your seat, lying on your back, strapping you in tight. You take one look out the window and see that familiar blue sky, gorgeous white cloud hanging in the distance and feel gratitude for the incredible world you get to live on. They tighten down the straps, close the hatch, and you're filled with anticipation. Your chest is tingling with excitement for everything that's about to happen. You see the countdown clock go Start its countdown back down. And finally, it gets to the end. 10, 9, 8. You don't know whether to be really calm, present, or super excited and giddy. 7, 6, 5. Everyone else in the capsule is just as excited as you are. 4. Three, you start to feel the rumble. Two, one, boom, explosion of light and sound and rumbling and energy and power as this incredible vehicle that so many people have lovingly built lifts you off majestically from the earth. You feel incredible pressure pushing you back into your seat. G's forces earth giving you one last hug. You're accelerating, going faster and faster up higher and higher into the sky, you're marveling at this, just the incredible awe of this experience and everything that's happening to you and every sensation. The sky is starting to get darker. Everything's changing, uh, just taking it all in, feeling a little bit of the cold space. And finally, after a few minutes gone by, you feel the main engines cutting off. <sighs> and everything starts to float. You feel so light in your straps and gently you unbuckle and let your body release out into the ship. It feels amazing. You let go of your pen just to see it float in front of you and then grab it again to make sure it's put away safe. You float up to the nearest window and take your first view down on Mother Earth. It's heart stoppingly, soul poundingly, breathtakingly beautiful. You look down on the lightning storms that are traveling across the surface of the planet. You see the 
reefs and peeking through the gorgeous crystalline turquoise waters. You see mountain ranges blanketed in snow. Incredible peace comes upon you. You fall in love like holding a newborn baby. It seems so precious and pure. Everything in you just wants to protect it. As your ship continues to glide over the earth, you start to recognize little features and realize you're coming closer to home, your hometown, places where you have special memories, your proudest moments, your happiest moments, your most loving moments. Some of your most fun moments. Everyone and everything you've ever known is down there on this perfect, serene, beautiful globe. How lucky are we to live in this most extraordinary blue-green planet? You hold and cherish all those people and all those memories and all your travels in your heart. As your spaceship starts to cross over into the dark side of the planet. And in the night darkness, you see dancing green and red lights of the Aurora twinkling and playing around the pole of the earth. And you see the twinkling of lights anywhere on the surface below where humans are gathered. You experience the interconnectedness of our world and all of its beauty, fragility. And all while you're floating peacefully in front of this window, you marvel at how present you are and how you're taking in every last pixel of color, of light, every sensation, every sound. It's intoxicatingly beautiful and humbling. And then you ask yourself, how am I going to be different now? How is this going to change the way I speak to my kids? How am I going to raise the standard I hold myself to? What grudge am I carrying that I can let go of? What hurt am I holding on to that I can now put down? What gifts do I have that I can free myself up to give? You see, our going to space is not just about how it changes us. It's about how we come home. Because while the overview effect may start with a shift in perspective, what it asks of us is action. So as you come back to earth for your soft and safe landing, Take the messages that were written in your heart with you as you walk the planet today. Peace. 
and just take a deep breath to help your body transition. From the power of space to the magic of now. You can open your eyes.